Okay, so we're gonna, gonna see how easy it is and how feasible it is to balance a set of Subaru pistons and con rods. And we're gonna do it with a balance that I bought on eBay for $14. You can get them cheaper than that. And so first of all, I wanna check and see if this balance really does what it says it does. It has a range of one kilogram, a thousand grams, and a resolution of 0.1 of a gram. And they claim an accuracy of 0.1 of a gram and a repeatability. So we'll test that and see what happens. So first of all, we'll turn it on. Let it settle a little while. <clears throat> so first of all, let's try a wrist pin. Place it gently in the middle, we get 132.7 grams. Let's see if it makes any difference whether it's in the middle or the outside. 132 .7, 132.7, 132.7, 132.8. So, That's, that scale is pretty good. It's pretty insensitive to where you place the part. Let's see what the wrist pins weigh. That's 132 .7, 132.7 132.7 132.7 132.7 So those are pretty good better than a tenth of a gram. Now we're going to check the linearity. So if I put two wrist pins on, they should be double that weight since they all weigh the same. So that should be 265.4 Let's just zoom back out. Now let's put three on, so we should get three times that, which is two, I can't figure it out, 398.2, seven, three's 21, so it should be 398.1. Now we put four on, one on top of the other. It should be 530.8, it weighs 530.9. So as far as linearity goes, we know that this is still within a tenth of a gram. Now the other thing to check is the hysteresis. As we take the weights off, they should come back through the same pattern. If not, it indicates there's some friction in the support. So let's take this one off. 398.8. One, it should be. It's 0.3, so we've lost, we've we've gained a couple of tenths there. Two, so there were a couple of tenths there, and that's up a tenth. So hysteresis-wise, it looks like there's about two tenths of a gram variation. Let's. So in other words, the best we're going to achieve here is two tenths of a gram. The other thing is the accuracy. I'm not too worried about the accuracy because we're comparing one piece with another. We want to make sure they're all the same. These we already know they're all the same. Um, whether it weighs 130 grams or 150 grams doesn't matter too much. A quick way of checking the accuracy is using coins. A nickel should weigh 5 grams. Since these are all old and beaten up, we probably don't expect that, but I've got 20 nickels here, so we should show 100 grams on the scale. 99.6, that's probably because they've been in my pocket for a long time. The pistons came with the the pins, they're by NPR, Nippon Piston Ring. So let's start with a piston here. 
next piston 382.9 1.1 grams lighter next one is 383.2 383.0 so this is the heaviest piston let's double check 384.1 so we need to take 1.2 grams off this piston see these little pips on here these serve no purpose other than to be removed for balancing they, uh, they add no strength because of the shape so we'll see if that's enough to get a gram out of that piston. So I've shaved off all those little pips on the underside of the piston plus a little bit more and still only down to 383.8 compared to one of the other pistons which is 383.2 and the lightest one is 382.9 so I've still got nine tenths to go if you look carefully at this piston you'll see I've taken off the pips here I've also ground away the inside radius there which uh, was just a sharp edge doesn't really add much to the strength of the piston now I've got to find out where to take almost another gram that's going to be tough so here are the pistons one more time after I've done all the grinding this was a heavy piston. It now weighs 383 even and you can see I've taken off those little pips that were on here. Also I've rounded off the edges. Took quite a lot to get a gram off and uh, smoothed it down with 150 grit to keep a nice radius which is uh, always good for strength and for getting rid of um, stress risers. This was the lightest piston, I have not done anything to this and this is at 383 also sometimes it reads 382.9 this was the one of the middle pistons 382.9 and all I did was take off a little bit off these little pips here and this piston was similar to that one, had to take off about three tenths of a gram, 383 so right now they're all within a tenth of a gram according to this scale which I reckon is accurate or, or repeatable to within two tenths uh, these pistons were 1.3 grams different from lightest to heaviest and most people would just put those back in this is a stock engine, a stock 2.5 Subaru engine so I don't think 1.2 1.3 grams would have been a problem but since I had this little test I wanted to do I tried to find out how close I could get them. Most uh, tuning shops will probably try to get down to half a gram. I can say with some confidence that these pistons weigh within two tenths of a gram of each other. So now we've got a set that with the pistons and the pins is no worse than three tenths of a gram. Now here's an interesting thing I had not noticed. Let's tear the balance. This is the brand new pin that came with the NPR pistons. I already weighed these and they weigh 132.7. Just keep that there for reference. This is the pin that came out of the engine, which I presume is an original Subaru part. This weighs 152. Look at the difference in the thickness of those two pins. So the OEM pin is 152 grams, the NPR pin is near enough 133, so that's 19 grams different. Hmm.